Hey guys, it's David from TheUnlocker.com and today we're going to show you how to enable Facebook Contact Sync on the Samsung Galaxy Nexus. Okay, so what I thought was initially just a bug in the Galaxy Nexus turns out uh, could have something to do with the fact that Facebook and Google don't want to be sharing data with each other anymore. Uh, so when you try to sync your Facebook contacts with your Google phone, it just doesn't let you. Obviously, I don't understand how this is hurting anyone but the consumer. Not terribly excited about it, but regardless, thanks to Paul over at Motoco.com, uh, we have a solution. So before you begin, you must have done our how to root the Samsung Galaxy Nexus procedure. If you haven't, click on the link there uh, to get to that procedure, finish it. Once you're done, you can come back to this one. Then you have to have done our how to load a custom ROM on the Samsung Galaxy Nexus procedure and uh, load any custom ROM that you want initially. Uh, once you've done that, you have running a custom ROM, then you can come back to this procedure and continue. Okay, now we're going to download Motoko's latest ROM and his ROM update package. Keep in mind that there are two packages. Um, let's scroll down here. Okay, and if you scroll down a little further, you'll see somewhere downloads. Uh, you'll have the core download, so you need to click on that one and download that, and then you also have the option pack, so click download that as well. We need both of those files. They're both zip files. Leave them as a zip, but download both of them to your computer. Uh, warning, it may take a bit of time because the uh, file hosting that he uses does not allow you to download more than one file at a time, so you have to download one, wait for it to finish, then download the next one. But once you have both of those, we can go on to the next step. Next, we're going to plug in our phone via USB and make sure that it says connected as a media device. Okay, now that the phone is plugged in and our uh, internal storage is being displayed on the computer, we're going to take the core rom.zip file, leave it as a .zip and transfer that over to the internal storage, not inside any folders, just on the internal storage. And we're also going to do the same thing with the update file, which should say something about update Motoko, et cetera. Pull that and transfer that as well. Once the first one's done, and wait for that to transfer. And now that that is transferred, we're going to unplug our device, and then we're going to power it off. give it a few seconds once the screen turns off to make sure it's completely off. And then we're going to hold down both the volume up and down buttons and power at the same time until we get our bootloader screen. We're going to hit volume up twice to get to recovery mode and select it and wait for the device to boot into recovery. Once in recovery, we're going to scroll down to backup and then backup and hit power and wait for it to finish doing the backup. Once it's done doing the backup, we're going to scroll to wipe data factory reset. Wait for it to do that. Then install zip from SD, choose zip from SD and we're going to first install the core file. So we'll select that and say yes and wait for that to install. Once it says install from SD card complete, we're going to then scroll to choose zip from SD again and we're going to immediately flash the other file that we put on there, the update. Hit yes and wait for that to flash. Once that's done, we can scroll to go back and then hit reboot system now and wait for the phone to reboot. Okay, so once you go through the phone's setup process like you did when you first turned it on, uh, you're then going to log in with your Google account, go to the market and download Facebook like you normally would. Uh, when you log into Facebook for the first time, you'll see this, which wasn't there before, say sync with existing contacts or whatever you want hit sync no 
Thanks. Get out of there and give it a second for it to sync. Okay, and after that, you should be able to go to settings, accounts in sync, and see your Facebook account uh, in there and saying sync is on. You click on it, it should also say sync contacts. Now, if the process isn't working right away, uh, what Paul, the guy who created the ROM, recommends is we turn it off. So even though it does say Facebook sync and stuff, my contacts aren't actually showing up in the people app. So we're gonna turn it off. Wait for it to turn off completely. And then just turn it back on. Okay, now that you've rebooted, you should be able to go to your Facebook contacts only and see all of them in there. Uh, you will notice there are no pictures yet. Uh, he plans to add picture sync shortly. Uh, all you'll have to do is update the ROM or the add-on pack uh, as soon as he adds it. And uh, of course, on our website, we'll post in this same procedure uh, the latest uh, add-on pack so that they're up to date as often as possible. So check back um, and hopefully we'll have a picture sync ready as well. But in the meantime, at least you have your Facebook contacts.